Sometimes trying to make your bathroom look good and clean and organized at the same time can be a little bit crazy. So in today's video, I'm going to show you some really good hacks to achieve all of your goals. and welcome to my channel DIY Home and Crafts. My name is Jess, so happy and excited to have you here today. And if you are new here and you like home decor, DIYs, hacks, and projects on a budget, make sure that you are subscribed and that you hit the bell to get notified every single time that I'm going to be uploading new videos. And guys, if you follow me for a long time and YouTube is no longer um, sending you messages um, every time that I post a new video, maybe what you can do is unsubscribe and then subscribe again and make sure that you hit the bell. That way, hopefully YouTube is going to notify you when I post a new video. I post every Thursday so you can keep that on mind too. And guys, for today's video, I put together my top favorite bathroom hacks, DIYs and organization projects that I have been made that I love so much and that I think are really good ideas that you can try at home to, to keep your bathroom looking good organize and clean at the same time. I really hope that you like and enjoy this video. You can get some ideas and inspiration. And if you do, please that big thumbs up. It really helps to support this channel. And guys, make sure that you follow me on my social media pages. I'm going to leave you all the links in the description box of this video. So yeah, let's get started. Let's DIY together going to be showing you a lot of organization ideas and hacks using things from Dollar Tree and recently when I went I found these stackable baskets and I love them you can place them on one on top of other and they also help save space in your cabinets or your closet I found these in this navy color and you can paint them maybe if you want um, I decided to leave it this color and I'm going to stack three of them I decided to add them like a small label so I found this really cute um, like tags um, from Dollar Tree and I decided to add a decal on them to make them look even cuter so for that I decided to instead of uh, write some words or something like that I decided to go with some pictures so I cut them with my Cricut Joy in some white vinyl color and then I'm going to stick one on each of these tags I cut a toilet paper, some bubbles, and like a hanger with a towel because those are the items that I'm going to be adding on my stackable baskets. And they have a clip, so I just add these on the side of the basket. And this is how these turned out. It was an easy and fun idea. And I'm going to be using this a lot. So go to your Dollar Tree too and check for these baskets because they are amazing. to be creating this super cute um, towel hanger for my bathroom so I'm going to start by using this super thin um, piece of wood that I just have in my garage um, it was already cut so I just sand it a little bit to make sure that it's going to have a smooth surface and then I'm going to be painting these and for that I'm going to be using my wax in antique color I'm going to paint it and then I'm going to let it dry Okay, once I paint my piece of wood, this is how it's going to look and I really love this color. I think it's going to work perfect. Um, next, I'm going to be creating my decal. I'm just right. Um, towels go here. I did it super long. I think it's uh, about 20 inches long. Once my Cricut Maker cut the decal, I'm going to be adding a transfer tape on top and then I'm going to be adding these to the piece of wood. Once I add these to my board, I'm going to be removing very carefully these transfer tape and then you have this amazing sign. Now I want to make these and transform these into like a towel hanger. So I'm going to be using this piece from Dollar Tree and I'm going to attach these on the back of the board and I'm just going to be adding some hot glue. Maybe you can add E6000 just to make sure that it stays stronger and sticks stronger. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be using just hot glue, but then I'm going to be using some duct tape and I'm going to add that on the back to um, make it a little bit more secure. If you don't have like a wooden board like this, you can use any sign from Dollar Tree. You have so many options guys and just try to make it on a budget um, and you can create a decal using your Cricut Maker. It was so fun. It was so easy and this is how my project turned out and I really like it. I add the towels and a little bit of greenery and I added these on the back side on the bathroom door and I think it looks super cute um, and once you close that door, you 
you're gonna be able to see these and it's perfect for storage or organize um, your towels and you can use this same idea to organize other stuff in your home you always need toilet paper close to you so I decided to make something for that I'm going to be using this basket um, you can get them now from Dollar Tree I think they are from the fall collection I'm not a big fan of this color so I decided to paint it using black um, spray paint in a matte finish and then let it dry now to add a tag I decided to use this mouse a trap they have a really good piece of wood so I'm going to be using that and I'm going to remove all of the metal pieces that I don't need and then I'm going to stain these with this special one stain color and I'm going to let this dry once I have my perfect piece of wood nobody's going to know that it's a mouse trap don't worry about that I'm going to create my decal I just have to stick it on my piece of wood and then I'm going to stick the piece of wood with hot glue on my basket Finally, I just have to add the toilet paper and this is how my project is going to turn out. Guys, how beautiful it looks. I'm so happy how it turned out. I think it has like this really high end look and it was so, so easy to make. The decal, the colors, ah, I like it a lot. <laughs> For the next project, I think I'm going to be making like the most easy DIY I have ever made and I'm so happy for that and I love it. So I'm going to work on my Cricut Design Space and I'm gonna go on text, I'm going to write flush it and then I'm going to be cutting these on my Cricut. I add the transfer tape on top and now the fun part, <laughs> I'm going to be adding these on the lid of my toilet. And I think it's so cool, so fun, perfect for visitors and perfect for my kids, oh my god. I think is gonna work and they're going to flush the toilet so anyways this is how it turned out super easy and because i use permanent vinyl this is going to stay for a long long time but i can remove it anytime in case i need to There are products in the bathroom that you probably use every day and you need to have them visible but you want them to look good in your bathroom so now I'm going to show you how you can do that in an easy and inexpensive way. This time I'm going to be using these coasters. I get them from Ikea. They cost about $2 and come to in a package. I'm also going to be using this cylinder glass vase that you can get from Dollar Tree and it's perfect because you can put these cylinder glass glass vase on top of these coasters and it fits perfectly so I was so happy about that and I'm going to be putting one on the bottom with hot glue and one on the top for the lid um, and for the lid you can also add a wooden cap I stain this one to make sure that the color match a little bit better and I'm going to stick that on the lid next I decide to add a vase to these to make it look a little bit taller so for that I'm going to be using this candle holder I get this from Amazon it comes for in a package and in the description box you can find the link for these candle holders I'm going to stick everything with hot glue and then I'm going to be creating my decal I'm going to add the decal that says bath salt and then I'm going to be adding some bath salt that I got from Dollar Tree I just have to add the lid and this is how it turned out then I decided to create two more vases so I decided to use more of these um, coasters add a wooden cap on top to create a really nice lid then I'm going to be using these two vases or containers from Dollar Tree they are made of glass I just have to add the decals on each of the vases and then I put the product inside and put the lid on top once I was done, this is how these turned out. I add all of these DIYs on a tray and I think it looks amazing. I'm so happy because I finally can have these organized on my bathroom. It looks beautiful and I really love all of the textures that it has and how budget friendly it was to make. using this circle wooden plaque that I get from Walmart for only 97 cents or you can use any other sign that you have at home no matter if it's 
in wood or what shape it has anything is going to work well and the first thing I did was to remove the staple and the sticker it had from there I'm going to paint my sign with two coats of paint just to make sure that it covers very well and I'm going to be using my Reveille shock paint in white color once the paint is dry I will use a roller and with a black marker I will draw lines to create a ship black look I did not want the lines to be so marked in my sign so I use the same brush that I used to paint the white and I'm going to run it over the lines just to make sure that they look a little bit lighter and you can also use a little bit of a gray paint and you can paint that over the white color just to give the sign more dimension Once the paint is dry, you can use a Dollar Tree stickers if you have. You can write it by hand with any marker or paint, or you can use your Cricut and create a decal with some black vinyl that says bath or whatever that you want to put on your sign and then just stick it in the center. It is super easy to make and it's going to look beautiful. Another super simple and easy DIY that you can make is use one of these Barbie toilets that you can get in the Dollar Tree toy section and then you can paint it. I'm going to be using my black ultra matte spray paint and it's going to look super beautiful. Um, it looks with more quality and it really match with the decor theme that I have in mind. So this is going to be the result of both projects and they turned out so cute and super easy and budget friendly to make the next project is going to be super simple um, you're going to need one of these Barbie bath tops um, that you can get in the Dollar Tree toy section too and then I'm just going to paint it and let it dry very well and then I put this Walmart boxwood inside the top and voila this is going to be the result I love to give green touches to my decor pieces using greenery or succulents and I think this project turned out so nice for this next project, I'm going to be creating this bathtub tray I'm using some wood that I just have left that I got on my garage and they was white before um, so I just use my sander machine and I sand this until I get a little bit of that natural wood color but you can create this same technique by using any piece of wood and just adding some shock paint making that distress look okay so next I'm going to put these two pieces together and I'm going to leave a small gap between them and then I'm going to stick them together by using these small pieces of stick um, and I'm going to stick them with hot glue these small sticks are going to help to um, let my two boards stay together and stick together um, and also is going to um, make these bathtub tray more stable on my bathtub Okay, once I was done, I'm going to let this wood glue dry very well for a couple hours and then I'm going to start making my decal. Once my Cricut cut my decal, I'm going to be uh, removing all of the vinyl that I don't need. I'm going to add that transfer tape on top and I'm going to be transferring these to, to one side of this tray. This is going to be on a bathtub and of course it's going to get wet, it's going to get some water. So I just want to give it an extra protection and for that I'm going to be using this Wervely wax and I'm going to give it about two coats to make sure that it's going to cover well, that um, it's going to cover and protect my decal too and then I'm going to let it dry. Once I was done guys, this is how my project turned out. I add these to my bathtub and this is how it's going to look. This is basically free for me because these are just some pieces of wood that I have left for maybe another project I don't remember. But anyways guys, this is how it turned out. It was so easy to make and I think it looks amazing. I add a candle to my tray and some fresh flowers. This time I want to make like a boy and girl bathroom sign. I'm going to be using a frame. You can use any size that you want, but I really like this one because it has like these 
faux um, wooden look on the frame and I really like that and the first thing that I did is to remove all of the back part of my photo frame and I'm going to be using only the glass and I need to stick that to the frame so for that I'm going to be using super glue and also a little bit of hot glue just because the hot glue dries faster and it's going to keep the glass stick to the frame once I have that part ready it's time to create my decal this time I want to make like a boy and girl bathroom sign. I'm going to transfer these on the glass part and this is how it's going to look. Next, um, if you want to hang these from the wall, you can add a small piece of jute. I decide to make two small knots on each side. And once that part is ready, this is how my project turned out. It was so easy to make. I decided to add these hanging from my wall, but you can also add these to a tear tray. I think that's a really good idea to put on your bathroom. It can be a little bit messy if I don't have things in place where they go so I decide to create a beautiful ring holder for my rings for my bathroom. I'm going to be using this ring holder from Dollar Tree as you can see it's so beautiful but I want to give it some height so for that you can use a candle holder again this is from, from the set that I got from Amazon and make sure that you check the link in the description box. I stained this with the same stain that I used before and I'm going to stick that with hot glue or maybe E6000 glue to stick these two pieces together and once I was done this is how it looks it's a beautiful DIY that anyone can do on a budget and I think it's going to give your bathroom a really nice touch Where did you storage all of your medicines and your first aid supplies? I normally have them on my bathroom, so I decided to create something really cool. I'm going to be working on my Cricut Designs page. I'm going to search for a first aid um, like picture, um, and then I'm going to let my Cricut cut this decal for me. To remove the vinyl that I don't need, add a transfer tape, and then I'm going to be sticking these on these super cool um, storage container that I have is from the target dollar spot and i think it looks so beautiful and it's perfect for all of my first aid supplies and things that i have in my bathroom now i have them organized and it looks beautiful at the same time and my love this is how these 10 ideas of bathroom decor and diys turn out these are 10 ideas that are budget friendly to keep your bathroom beautiful and organized at the same time so really good hacks that you have to try at home and please let me know in the comments Comments, which of these 10 ideas is one of your favorites and make sure that you give this video a big thumbs up also that you are subscribed to this channel and that you hit the bell to get notified every single time that i'm going to be uploading new videos and remember to follow me on my social media pages i'm going to leave you all of the links in the description box of this video and guys see you in the next one Mwah. bye